Well, you just saw a video of an entrance here locally in Massachusetts where the opposite of a frost heave happens. Looks like we had an entrance to a building that the, um, what would you say, like the pavers had sunken in. Right. And it created a clear tripping hazard at the front door uh, in the accessibility code in Massachusetts, which is 521 CMR. It says you can have no more than a quarter inch change in levels. That was clearly much more than a quarter of inch. So that was a case where it sunk in probably poor compaction, maybe poor materials, maybe something got washed out of a lot of water flowing through there and they put sand underneath and that got washed out. So that could be sinking in for any number of reasons, but there is a code change coming up that is trying to address the opposite. Uh, could you tell us, Mike, what what the 10th edition code change is in regards to frost heaving? Yeah, so minor change. Uh, it's probably a few uh, sentences in the code, but basically in Chapter 18, what's going to happen is now all your required egress doors, uh, if you have an apron or you have sidewalk outside of your egress doors, required egress doors, that sidewalk, that apron, whatever is outside the doors is going to need to have frost protection. And the way the code is cited is that the frost protection needs to be the same uh, as the frost protection required for the foundation of the building. Uh, so you can imagine now, uh, you know, boxing out a foundation uh, beyond the front of the building so that if you have an egress door out onto the sidewalk or out onto an apron for that matter, because you can egress onto your own property if it's private property or you can egress onto public property which is a whole other um, ball of wax which i can elaborate on in a bit but now you're going to need to afford for uh, frost protection underneath that sidewalk or underneath that apron and think about layout right if you have a set of stairs that are landing somewhere now you're going to have to lay out and figure out okay hey where are my stairs going to land so I have frost protection at the bottom. Oh, no, actually, it would just be where the doors are, right? Right. It wouldn't be... Right, so not. it wouldn't fall... Um, it, the idea is that the doors, um, you know, due to heaves, will not catch up and won't open less than 90 degrees when you go to push the door open. Yeah, that's actually a great point. It says in there, if I'm not mistaken, that where the door swings out... Correct. It's required to have frost protection. Obviously, if you have the heave outside, you go to open the door, you're going to be trapped in right. the building. Something to think about here, and as we were talking about this, I, I went back to my days when I was downtown, um, is public sidewalk. It's always a challenge when you're excavating and, and working on the public sidewalk. We know that you have to provide sidewalk bonds and, and whatnot to uh, return the, the sidewalk back to its original condition. And city sidewalks are you know, certain standard. Notorious. However, um, you know, I, I go back to the issue with the vaults in the city of Boston, which I just found, I was part of one of the, the biggest, uh, if you want to call it, uh, violation raids um, back in 2007, 2008, somewhere around there, writing up the sidewalk vaults. Uh, and there's an ordinance in the city of Boston that actually states if you maintain a vault or you maintain a structure that's part of your building, under a city sidewalk, you're responsible for that sidewalk. Uh, if it's built to city standards, the structure, then the city will take care and maintain the sidewalk above it. So now you have to figure, okay, uh, you know, we're going to put this structure, if there's a zero lot line at the front of the building, and we're going to have this structure under the city sidewalk, the structure is going to need to comply with the city standard for, this, for the sidewalk um, structure underneath the actual sidewalk. That's a whole another can of worms. Uh, if yeah. you look at um, sidewalk standards in the city of Boston, I think there's like a 90-page uh, document regarding sidewalk standards um, for the city. So, so uh, you, probably a little simpler than that when you're doing layout, but it's just another layer in uh, construction by this one tiny three-line code change. Hmm. So. Yeah, so it's really, I mean, a lot of cases it could just mean that your where you have your foundation wall, you're going to fatten it to extend out to whatever your, um, not a threshold, but the area right outside of your door where it opens. Right. So you're probably going to have to fatten out that wall so you have frost protection at that location. Does Correct. it give a dimension about how far you need to come out? 
It doesn't. It just says, um, if I can find oh, it. Oh, I got it right here. So, frost protection shall only be required to the extent necessary to ensure the unobstructed opening of the required door exit. So, you're going to have to look at what do you have for a door. If it's a 3070, you got a 36-inch door. When that swings open, you're going to need at least 36 inches of space with frost protection. So, mm -hmm. you're going to have to figure out where those doors land and fatten out that wall an additional 36 inches or i mean i guess you could uh i'm using my hands for the people that are listening but rather than make it a solid 36 inches you could build three walls basically right. do a little bump out to have that be your right landing for the door where it swings but yeah okay just thought it was interesting so people that are listening Go ahead over to Instagram, LinkedIn. I will have the video posted there where it's sunken in and the exposure uh, from a tripping and accessibility standpoint. And and again, so this, you know, 2021, we've not officially adopted the 2021 yet. Um, we're moving closer to it's the 2021. Uh, so this will be in effect once the state uh, signs off on the 21 code or the 10th edition, this will be in effect unamended in massachusetts yep. and it's gone through the b triple c so we probably might actually really be good for june correct of this year okay thanks mike